Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks, and welcome to Loretta. I'd like to thank Dangan for the free copy to play with all of you. It looks cool. I, it's, I feel like it's been a while since I've played uh, like a small point and click game. And this one seems intriguing because uh, we may be an accomplice to the murder in this murder mystery. Uh, is everything working okay before I get started? Because uh, I've had some issues before with starting streams. <laughs> and uh, they didn't actually start, so I'm just making sure. Is it, is it, uh, are we live here, guys? I see Ren, I see Lydra. Yes. Looks, looks live to me. Okay. Sunny, good to see you. Glotz, Glotzy's Kitty is watching. I don't know what Glotzy's Kitty's name is. I'll assume it's Carl. Hello, Carl. Amba? The Fog is... Wait. Someone named The Fog is coming. Arrived and said The Fog is coming, but that's not really accurate because The Fog is here. So now you have to change your name to The Fog is here. <laughs> I'm not cleaning up after the fog. All right, let's begin Loretta. Wait, I can hear myself. <laughs> I, have the, I had the video open on my phone. I was like, is there an echo in here? Hey, Richie. Uh, I think we'll go color mode. But we can change at any time. Games that take place in the United States of America in 1947 reflect the reality of that time Loretta contains subject matter that some may find offensive. Characters, due to their nature, age, and social status, use words, phrases, and profanities, so be aware, everybody, that are indicative of the time and do not correspond with modern attitudes. All events of characters depicted in the game are entirely fictitious. Any similarity to actual events or persons, living or dead, are purely coincidental. Think carefully before you begin this game and play responsibly. Oh, that's that's good. Kitty's tree. I think it had whispered to him things about himself which he did not know. Things of which he had no conception till he took count. So, something else. Something, something. Hey, Cosmic. <laughs> the fog is June 25th, 2026. Jesus. Okay, okay, fog. The fog's just joking. Yeah, there really should be streamer modes for these games where the. Honestly, it should just be click to continue. My name's Loretta Lou Harris. I'm feeling like a little congested every time I start streaming. Friends call me Laura, 38 years old, born in a small town in the south that you'll probably never heard of. That y'all probably never heard of. The moment I turned 16, I ran away to the East Coast. I'm an unemployed ornithologist. What is ornithologist again? Isn't that like bird? Isn't that a bird uh, thing? It's clearly someone that studies Orny. Bird watching. So, what? The, Sergeant. Now, Sergeant Dornan. That guy who said the fog is coming was me. What's. The whole, whole bunch of. A whole bunch of craziness going on in chat today. Bird expert, yeah. They're probably orny all the time. And a mediocre housewife. A few months ago, my husband and I moved to a farm. We got from his parents. Life here ain't exactly simple. But we get by all the same. Up until two weeks ago, anyway. The Fog Cinematic Universe is coming. Uh, by the way, I made some adjustments to, the, to my microphone. Let me know... Uh, 
if it sounds any any better or worse you guys probably won't even notice the difference then walter up and disappeared without a trace i love these i love these little little games these small games Is this Harris? This is Chambers, I guess. I'm Frank Chambers. I'm looking for your husband. You from the police? Now, I already talked to the sheriff. I ain't got nothing more to say. I sound less Canadian. Didn't know that was a setting. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool style, eh? So the game, they kind of say that it's inspired by, you know, Hitchcock, uh, film noir, that kind of stuff. No, ma'am. I'm leading a private investigation. There's some people from New York. Important people. Would really like to have a word with Mr. Harris. Hey, Morbo. Yeah, Pumpkinhead. This just came out a couple days ago. It's called Loretta. New point and click. I haven't played one of these in a long time. This one caught my eye because it looks, it looks unique. I know, I know. I find all the cool little games. Uh, what kind of, how do we want to play this? And who are these important people? Hey, Blacko. People who Mr. Harris still needs to pay. Mind if I come in? He wipes his neck with a handkerchief. Nice place. We've got a, a very lovely house, ma'am. Don't bother. I can't stand this place either. Is this Mr. Harris's house? His parents. You're not from around here, are you? Or New York, for that matter. Don't test my hospitality. Sorry, didn't mean to offend. I'm paid to ask questions, you know. But my only concern is Mr. Harris. Mainly, I need to know if he's alive. Or dead. Oh, I thought we had to, like, pump it. I thought we had to pump A and D. <laughs> this thing gets on my nerves. Sometimes it feels like I could hear it ticking from all the way in the bedroom. I can't select that. Oh, there you go. Walter and I by the ocean. Eight years ago. Oh. Oh. It's like a, a memory. Damn dusty roads. That sounded like a saw. I love how bright our milf is. <laughs> Reminds me of Blackwell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I haven't played the Blackwell games. Walter's hat. He bought it in New York. Axe. Maybe we should axe him a question. Ready to get closer? Ah. Ma'am? How long has Mr. Harris been gone for? Two weeks. Based on the graphic style, would that stag head on the wall be a no idea? I don't get it. Still not over the explanation, Milf Better. I don't. Hey, man. If Odd likes it, makes him happy. Who am I to? Who am I to say? Who hired you? Why don't you start off by telling me who it was that hired you? <clears throat> uh, of course. I work for a firm called Wallace and Partners. I represent the interests of Mr. Wallace. Here's my card. Get the axe. Grab the axe, kill him! Oh. <laughs> That's not an appropriate place to put your hand, sir. Oh, no idea. No idea. Frank Chambers, private investigator. Okay. 
Look at, look at, I don't know if you guys could see this, but the... First of all, the cursor is super small. <laughs> but it's shaking a little bit. I think it's to show that we're stressed. Your husband. Oh my, sir! <laughs> a big old jolt. Oh, it's Mr. Wallace. A substantial sum of money, ma'am. World map for uh, Total Warhammer. Oh man, I'm glad you're excited about that. I don't know. I'd, it's the game's too big for me to really get into. Did Mr. Harris mention anything about that to you? Reckon your services cost a lot more than that. Ha! I don't charge that much. I don't... Whew. Beads of sweat fall from Chambers' face onto his wrinkled shirt. Can I get you something to drink? The kitchen's just down the hall. Moosehead. I done lost count of how many times I asked Walter to throw this nasty old thing away. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, I'm, I've always been bothered by taxidermy. It's, 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 it's an odd... It's an odd thing to me. You're not gonna answer that? Hello? Hello? Can I talk to Mr. Harris, please? She hangs up. Uh. It's not we hang up, it's she hangs up. A parent had their cat stuff because it saved their lives when they were younger. Okay. This is going to be the story where you serve the detective a leg of lamb to eat and that ended up as the murder weapon. <laughs> Jeez, maybe I'm like, maybe I legitimately am allergic to something. Let's just hang up. They hung up. It happens sometimes. Yeah, um, like we're choosing what she's going to do and not really like doing it together. Great lemonade is all I can offer. Just water would be fine with me, ma'am. I'm a tad parched. You also have no eyes, but it looks like you got a like a weird grin on your face. That long drive. <laughs> Sickle! Tell me, ma'am. Your husband. Did you happen to leave some kind of note? Maybe a letter? He didn't. Oh, Poker Face. Yeah, I still need to watch... That and... Uh, Glass Onion. Oh, there's one thing I need to do with the mic that I didn't do here. Hold on a second, guys. Oops, that's not it. There we go. Wait, that worked? Yeah, okay. I just didn't, I needed to add a, a thing. Miss Marvel today? Yeah. I, I watched, uh, I went to see Avatar 2 in the theaters. It was, it was quite good. Uh, I understand the the complaints about it, but it was fun to watch. I think that may be a no shadow on the mustache. I don't I don't know if we're choosing what to kill him with, but there is a convenient number of, of murder weapons available to us. He didn't. At least I ain't found nothing if he did. Neither did the sheriff sheriff's men. Hmm. 
It's a real nice almond smell in here. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Catalog. I like the, uh, the, the style of the fonts. It reminds me a bit of... Kentucky Route Zero. Yeah. Cosplay with girl with parents who don't get stuff perfectly. I like that Hulk outfit though. It looked cool on that guy. I kind of, I was kind of like, like I understand they wanted, they were talking about Miss Marvel. I understand that like the idea was like she wanted to go on her own and her parents like wanted to make sure that she was safe and all that stuff. And, and I was like, but he looks cool. Let him go. Cyanide smell like almonds. I think that's what they're implying. Um, April furniture catalog. It's got all the nuclear. All it's got all the nuclear family could need. How are things with the novel? Did Mr. Harris finish it? Is Mr. Wallace interested in that too? No, ma'am. Just curious. Real pity that the true work, that the true work of a detective, isn't that all like the stuff your husband writes about. Oh, he's uh, a detective. Of detective? What? Okay. He's a writer? Writes detective novels? You know, in this hard boiled detect in his hard boiled detective stories. It's the laws of the game, a genre, Mr. Chambers. I'm having trouble reading today. Another month's flown by. Should we just leave? I should get Chambers some water. Oh, look at that. The the cursor changes when I'm over the glasses. It's fine now. And then when I move it over the glasses, we get we get nervous. It's the cyanide. Okay, with the thick. Maybe that's to show that we can interact with it. What do you okay, Ruby's saying the font isn't my favorite. Blecko, what do you think of the font? Leecher says, feels like we're being judged by this guy in our house. Let's sickle him. Her husband is Alan Wake. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to that Alan Wake game. Alan Wake 2. This humidity is killing me. That's the that's the first thing that's going to kill you. And then it's going to be this shovel. Wipes his face with a handkerchief. I don't think it's been this hot since the spring of 39. Where's that music coming from? The fields. Farmers. Walter rents out the land. Guess the music helps him pass the time. Hmm. His eyes linger on Laura's hips. He pretends not to notice. Font okay. It's got the black oaf font stamp of approval. So I'd have to agree with Ruhi. It's not a very good font. No, I, I kind of like the style, but I know what you mean. It's not very readable. Quite the shame. For a fine lady like yourself. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. Get the sickle. Be stuck out in a place like this. Here's your water. You're too kind. Thank you. Tries his lips on his sleeve. How much land you've got here, ma'am? Sixty or so acres? Whew! I can't whistle. Don't get too excited. It was mortgaged a long while back. Chambers, I don't like you. Yeah. Oh, the the Miss Marvel actress is able to visit her birthplace. Connect further with her culture. Oh, that's cool. May I take a look at the yard? Suit yourself. What in? It's the pipes. Son of a... Got some plumbing installed. And... What do you know? 
Sorry. I, I need to go down in the basement. Need a hand? Nah. No need to trouble yourself. Besides, you wanted to look around the place. Didn't you? It's damp and dark down in the basement. Too damp and dark. And too dark. Smells like mold. Just like Chamber's breath, actually. I can hardly find the water pipes. At first... Now, now it says I can fi hardly find the water pipes. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe... She hangs up. Maybe it was saying that the person on the other side hung up. At first glance, everything seems to be in order. But there's a weird buzzing sound coming from him. Closer? Looks like something's stuck in one of them. Hard to say what exactly. Try to pull it out. I hold out my hand. I touch something wet and hairy. I grab a hold of it and tug. Oh! It's a dead rat! Could have been worse. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know much about that event either. So I, I looked up a little bit of it. Buzz and stopped. For now. Looks like... Chambers went out to the yard. Time to, time to kill him. Get that shot. There's all this like evidence that maybe we murdered our husband. Like there's, there's <laughs> a shovel with a, a hole dug. You got a well here. Tell me, Mister Mrs. Harris. Where do you think your husband might be? Got any ideas? Every single time I type milk, my hands type milk. Uh, what do you guys think for this? I don't. Maybe he went back to New York. He's in the well. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with he's in the well. He's in the well. He's in the well. Begging your pardon? My name is Lorena Lou Harris. Friends call me Laura. I'm an unemployed housewife stuck in a hellhole with nothing but sun and fucking wheat. Two weeks ago, I killed my husband. Oh. Oh, cool. Check this out. Pretty, pretty simple puzzle. I try to make excuses, but I think I had to tell my story from the beginning. But I ain't looking to be forgiven by the gentlemen of the jury. I know that's impossible now. But I want to give a chance to whoever's going to read this. You like the old pharaoh fonts? Maybe you understand me. You see, my relationship with Walter started to fall apart long before the day he died. Long before we moved to this goddamn farm. I even liked it at the start. 
trading the bustling city life for a humble one out in the country. This is such a, like... This seems like such a weird game to make. You know, just... It seems so out of the ordinary. Of course, wishful thinking is all it was. Women don't get much choice in this world. Yeah, she is. She is. She's got to... Because she's just staring at us. Taking off wrong turns. And before you know it, you're low class. I was finally starting to see that all my turns were the wrong ones, too. We found the dead rat and went outside. What did I miss after? Well, we told the guy, the private investigator, that her husband was in the well. And then we smacked him in the back of the head with a shovel. <laughs> that all my turns were the wrong ones, too. Okay. An old well. I don't know why, but it gives me the creeps. I never use it. Oh! Tab. Clothespin. Metal coil inside is rusted. Can I use it? The broken creaky step. Nail sticking out, waiting for the right moment. To finally jab into my leg. I asked Walter to fix it. Not that that did any good. Yeah, 1947. Generally, I'd recommend divorce over murder. Or just don't get married in the first place. Walter wasn't a bad person. He almost never drank. Even when he did, he never got violent. In all our years together, he only hit me that one time. And he felt awful about it afterwards. Still, everything about him was starting to irritate me. Reckon the feeling was mutual. That irritation turned into a burning hatred. That only got stronger after we moved out here. His snoring was like nails on a chalkboard. Spit everywhere like he was a damn camel. And food got stuck in his teeth all the time. Yeah, I mean... Sounds sounds like a good, good ground for murder. Alright, those things are inexcusable. But what really got under my skin was how he always reeked of onions. All the damn time. It was this disgusting oily smell that soaked into all the furniture. But you want to know what the weird thing was? I never used any onions in my cooking. Bird. Bye. Leave of the dishes. Okay. Yeah. We drop this broadcast to bring you a breaking weather update. Category 2 cyclone has been tracked approaching from the south. Meteorologists warn to expect heavy wind and rainfall in the coming days. I don't want to scare the bird. anything in the basement I need oh that was the entrance to the basement I thought that was the Walt and I met toward the end of 1929 he's a little older than me mighty handsome of course he worked as a newspaper correspondent but I couldn't tell you the name of what paper it was probably quit publishing it now anyway Murder, you can, you, can, you can pretty easily get away with murder back then. Though. For contest, a murder happened here in Denmark years ago, and the stated motive by the murderer was he'd, the victim, had been annoying for a long period of time. Jeez. 
My mother died in 1930. Walter and I got married in 1931. Is this supposed to be clothing or are this like cut up body parts or? It looks like, it looks like cross sections of the human body. I got pregnant in 1933. They called it an ectopic pregnancy. That was followed by a miscarriage. What's ectopic? I lost my child before I ever got to be a mother. Outside the womb. Such an ugly thing. Just looking at it gives me goose pimples. You mean caribou... boils. This has got like a really creepy atmosphere. Not viable for life. Require a miscarriage or you're pretty sure you're gonna die. Cups, plates, half of them are chipped. It reminds me of someone's dirty, oily hair. I wonder whose. I don't think she likes them very much. Windows have collected dirt for so many years. Tried cleaning them at first, but gave up eventually. Walter brought this brought his Al Jolson and Mario Lanza records. I prefer classical music. I ain't in the mood to listen to that right now. No joke, my friend nearly died from one. Wow. Yikes. I never heard of that before. Franz Kafka. Trial. Hmm. <laughs> the trial. Old fireplace sets the tone for the entire room. I don't like this room. It gives me a headache. I guess we're just exploring the house. Woman in a wheat field. Wheat, wheat, wheat. All we got is damn wheat. He's typing away at a typewriter. Started bleeding internally. Oh, that's horrible. She ended up doing okay, though. Uh, okay, we need a code. That's right. One five oh. She's fine now. That's good to hear. Enter Walter's room. Walt got into writing around the same time. Never did understand his compulsion to write. I never lied to him, nor will I to you. But Walter ain't the most talented writer. <laughs> She ended up getting pregnant again and it was, it was, uh, she gave birth to a son. That's good. I don't know how much confidence a man needs to want to fight against eternity. But somehow Walter had exactly that much. That's what I liked about him. Walter's first highbrow novels weren't published. He tried arguing with Joyce, Hemingway, and Faulkner. He was writing reviews on books I ain't never I ain't ever heard of. But at last Walter Harris found his niche. Hard boiled detective novels. Walter smelled like onions, I'm not over that. It had food in his teeth. So what do you think, Cosmic? Do you think I'm um, uh, murderable? Oh, you think he's handsome? Forget no pads, people, there's passwords to remember. Uh, uh, and oh boy, it turned out to be a gold mine. At first, he published his books under a pseudonym. He still had his old job. I wanted to be a mom, so I'm glad she was able to have uh, a little. Looks just like her. Ah, uh, murder him! <laughs> Eventually, write those thrilling, silly little stories. It became his career. 
wasn't ever a big reader. I don't consider myself to be an intelligent woman, either. Intelligent women discover new chemical elements. They write articles in liberal newspapers. They write much more than just pie recipes. They protest and fight for their rights. They demand attention and respect, but me? Never demanded anything. Hi. Let me just open the safe here. Old safe. Better not touch it. Not unless I want Walter to start bitching. Anyway! She got them street smarts. Well, we'll find out, I suppose. Can't keep living like this, Walt. Oh, or where's the key? Where's the key? Walter, where's the key? What key? Bedroom key, Walter. Bye. Blacko kind of loves Loretta. This smells like onions too! What is, what is this onions thing? Guest bedroom. I understand that Walter's parents slept in separate bedrooms. One of them harsh 1910 traditions. Walter and I turned this place upside down looking for the key, but no luck. Sure feels strange knowing I can't access certain parts of the house. Wouldn't you get a locksmith to come under? Knowing one's limitations is a show of wisdom in my books. Who wants uh, intelligence if one can be wise? Yeah, I mean, but there's, but she's 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 um, equating intelligence with certain uh, behavior, and that's not always the case as well. Like. Writing, like, she, would she say writing in liberal newspapers or something? Like, that doesn't necessarily make you intelligent. Hey, Jake. Great stream as always. I just hate games that make you think. Oh. Don't think, then. Uh, maybe he's a vampire is trying to throw people off by bathing in onions? I thought it was garlic. The vampires in like garlic. Something went wrong in New York. Never found out what exactly. Walter fell into a pit of debt, dragged me down there with him. That's why there's no vampires in Italy, by the way. Or maybe they're all in Italy. You guys started that myth. Left the obscenely high deposit we'd paid on our apartment. Packed our bags and rented the cheapest rust bucket he could find. In the spring of 1947, we moved to the farm. To Walter's parents' old house. Edna and Douglas Harris died of typhus back in 1927. So we jumped off the bumpy lift raft that was our former life. And rushed into the unknown. I thought I thought vampire survivors were made by an Argentinian dev. Our belongings are in these suitcases. A whole human life contained in a few bags. If you think about it, what's your favorite medieval weapon? I don't like to think. A whole human life contained in a few bags. Still ain't unpacked most of it. Open it. Birth certificate for, uh, oh, John Edward Harris. Date of birth, June 6, 1946. Male. Father Loretta Lou Harris, Walter Philip Harris. So I'm confused here. The baby was born but didn't make it?
It's October 1945 when I got oh, okay, okay. Forget it. October 1945 when I got pregnant again. Doctors who said I was too old, he used some weird phrase like elderly parturient or something. Apparently with my medical history, neither me nor my baby stood a chance. I reckon it was just a miracle. Nine months later, I gave birth to a boy, Johnny Harris. I'm getting ahead of myself again. Or maybe I'm going too far back. Did you know that the rise... In the belief of vampires coming from the buried dead started just after embalming became a thing in the Victorian era. Mm. And the subsequent vampire problem is why a man named Colonel Henry Alcott, aggressive minded lawyer, supported cremation. Really? No. Tuberculosis is big and people believing in vampires. So it's so wild where these things come from, eh? Long story short, I lost Johnny too. So, so far we're just kind of playing through a story here. What? I didn't get to look at that stuff. I thought I could click on the pictures. Alter suit. Oh, of all Walter's sins. His adultery was the least to concern me. Let's say his gambling affected my life in a much more serious way. His adultery was pretty obvious. Walter hadn't touched me in months. Can't say I was too upset by it, though. Nonetheless, I need one thing for sure. That ginger bitch Margaret... Sure did love her onions. That's why it smells like onions. <laughs> what? I thought that vampirism legends came from Slavic tales due to them unearthing bodies thought to be alive and confirming as much because nails and hairs grew. People who died from TB's relatives got sick with it. They would unearth the bodies and notice a lot of times they weren't de decomposing properly. Cut out the heart and burn it. Jeez. Oh, Boy, H. Unbound's like, I love onions too. Evil. Oh, are we? Oh, we're going to a different place. The gas station, I guess. What? I have to destroy the alcohol? So that... What? What a weird mini game. Did I fail? I can't even see some of them, so I'm not surprised that I've, I've missed. Some of them, like, pop right up next to whatever that is. What does this mean? Feel trapped. I should also say you gotta you gotta be careful with these uh 
explanations that you hear because you often learn that they're based off of like rumors and stuff. I'll give you an example. The uh, the murderer that uh, that, that last uh, Dark Pictures anthology was based off of. What's what's that guy's name again? A lot of that stuff's just not true. Uh, I learned. But it's fun. It's fun to, um, yeah, H.H. H. Holmes. It's fun to, like, engage in that stuff, you know. I felt trapped. I was suffocating in this cramped farmer's paradise. I could feel the noose tightening around my neck. I went to the bank. So, can you state your profession, ma'am? I'm an ornithologist. My trade. For now. I just run the house, mostly. Orna. Excuse me, how do you spell that? Ornithologist. Scientist, the kind who studies birds. See, she's smart. He was not... He wasn't a serial killer. I don't... I don't want to... I don't want to ruin people's fun, so... Just... If you want to learn about him, I'll let you guys do it. If you want to think, believe all that stuff, you, you could. If you, if you want to enjoy that stuff, I should get in the way. <laughs> A scientist, the kind who studies birds. Um, hmm, I, I see. And how about the man of the house, ma'am? What does he do? Uh, he's a writer. Wait, Walter Harris? You mean the writer? The affair with the killer? The black tulip? <laughs> I see you're a fan. What? Voyage says... Uh, what? Where did that come from? Uh, I see you're a fan. Ha! <laughs> no, not me, I'm afraid. My wife, though. Why, she just adores his books. The Black Tulip, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I was like, where is that coming from, Voyage? Who would have thought? Right here in our backyard. Ha! <laughs> anyway. Well, ma'am, I'm sorry to say this, but we can't give you a loan. Well, not you, anyhow. Uh, but why don't you bring your husband around next time? I'm sure we could figure something out. I was hoping not to get my husband involved. Let's see. Uh, it's me who needs the money, not him. In that case... Ma'am, if you urgently need money, then what's stopping you from taking out that 30000 and... What 30000 Uh... Well, now, just a moment. Shuffles through his papers. Well, well, well. Yes. Oh, I beg your pardon, ma'am. That was my mistake. I just realized the 30000 is in insurance. That is a lot of cash for back then. What would that be in today's dollars, like... I mean, it would be definitely at least like 300,000, right? Or maybe like a million? Murder the smelly man. What insurance? What 30,000? Appears on a sheet of paper. Uh, life insurance, ma'am. Silly of me to have missed it before. But it looks like Mr. Harris's publisher took out an insurance policy in his name. Here, see for yourself. 47. The event of death or disappearance. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, you could skip this part. Beneficiary will receive a lump sum payment. $30,000. Looks like a standard contract as insurance goes. Oh, 640000 Okay. 
Smells like, smells like onions, smells like murder. Classic poem by Loretta. <laughs> Anywho, I must apologize again. I didn't mean to cause any confusion. No, thank you. You've been a big help. Glad to hear. In that case, I'll be waiting for you and Mr. Harris to drop on by. All the best, ma'am. Oh, and do allow me to remind you that all deposits and contributions are insured with us at... That clerk's words broke through his cracked, graceless lips. And disappeared in the thin air. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand dollars? An incredible sum of money. It felt like the more I thought about it, the less I was able to comprehend how much money that really was. Walter. He had never said a word. Why not? I remember getting this strange feeling. Are you alright, Voyage? It was weak and not all there yet, but I felt it on the edge of my mind all the same. Not for the re uh, schools and workplaces used to get life insurance on their staff kids. Yeah. The moment I tried to catch it and pay attention to it, I left the bank and the draft spring wind of the outside world. It spelled that feeling as if it was never there to begin with. I must have parked over there. Who did it? Uh, well, we hit someone in the- we already hit the private investigator in the back of the head. With a shovel. Hate crimes, homicides, and kidnappings have nearly halved when compared to the last decade. I think it's safe to say that America is going through a new round of development. Concluded the deputy prosecutor. Laura? Hey, Laura! Hello, Margaret. So good to see you. How long has it been since we've last seen each other? Come to think of it, I ain't seen Walter around much either. How's he doing, anyway? Oh, this is the- this is the one he's at! This is the onion lady! <laughs> That's just what you do. Uh, why don't you tell me, you lying ho- Margo, hurry up! Busier and a blind dog in a meat house in here. Break's over! Move those hips, girl! Alright, I'm coming. Anyway, Loretta. Oh, the girls and I are gonna see a show on Saturday. You should come join us. And, uh, I wanted to talk. Margo! Look, I'll stop by if I'm in the neighborhood. You don't mind, right? I gotta shoot. <laughs> Mar Mar Margunion? Margo! Keeping your tips! I am coming for Christ's sake! The ginger bitch. <laughs> oh, Loretta! <laughs> uh. Oh, it's an advertisement! Boy, it says. Hope we deep fry your turn into onion rings. It literally says onion rings there. That's why she smells like freaking onions. Fried onion rings. Best in town. I lied, of course. I ain't no ornithologist. Never have been, never studied nowhere. Just a habitual liar. Tell <laughs> she's not an ornithologist. I like this character. She's very, uh, interesting. I'm a working girl. I need some way to survive when I moved to New York. I needed some way to survive when I moved to New York. I wanted to be a nurse, but failed the exams. Twice. <laughs> I watched the tiles at diners, tried working as a waitress. Tried working as a newspaper secretary, believe it or not, even worked at a salon. I wouldn't say I enjoyed any of it. But work is work. 
I read an article about a female ornithologist once. She was on an expedition of some sort. I liked it. I even bought the Birds of America. Ain't much of a bird lover, though. <laughs> Hot to love harbingers of disease. Turning the wheel back and forth. I love that in old old movies. They um, they're like they have to like pretend that they're driving the car, so they're just going like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, this music's really good too. It's hotter than six shades of hell. I had the windows cranked all the way down. Yeah, Voyage, just calm, calm down a little bit. I don't know, you're acting very peculiar today. And could feel the sun burning my skin through the windshield. A swarm of thoughts swirled in my mind. So I didn't notice. That was running out of gas. This old bag of bolts chugged 30 gallons to the mile. But Lady Luck smiled on me for the first time that day. And a gas station appeared out of the blue. Concrete face rose from the middle of a cornfield. All cracked and worn, like the wrinkled face of some old woman. Funny thing was, I can't say I'd ever seen that gas station before. Even though this is the only road leading home. Oh, right, we, we clicked on the gas station. That was like the next part of the story. She calls the birds harbingers of disease and says, could be worse for picking up a dead rat. <laughs> Cars revolving rather than driving, yeah. Feels like I drank more during the prohibition than I did my entire life. Ain't touched a drink since I was 32. But with every day I spent... I spent it living on this farm. I regret that decision more and more. United States of America. All 48 of them, available at a glance. Poison. <laughs> sure, we'll take it. Travel by bus. Oh. Afternoon, ma'am. How's the day treating you? Could be better. It's too hot today. Hey, we're on there, ma'am. Almost uh, 100 degrees out. Could you fill me up for $3? Sure thing. Anything else I can get you? I don't even know what I want. Uh, if you'll allow me, ma'am. I may have just the cure. For what ails you. You do? Do you want to prove rat poison? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think, like, what, how, actually, how many states were there in 47? There's 50, there's 50 now, but how many, was there, was there... Fewer states in in, in in 47? <laughs> um, excuse me, um, um, there actually was, um, 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 48 states? What would it be, uh, Alaska? And Hawaii? Were those not were those not states yet? Someone look it up. Do you like prove rat poison? Even contains its own secret formula. This sucker will get rid of rats, mice, whatever's plaguing you. It smells like almonds too. Alaska became a state in '59. Okay. Guaranteed to work. All for only a dollar ninety-nine. And Hawaii in fifty-nine, okay. But it, like for a second there I was like, maybe she just doesn't know. 
Or that occurred to be, oh, they probably weren't states yet. I, I really, yeah, I really dig the, the vibe in this game. I don't think that... Ah, you know what? You look like a diligent housewife, ma'am. Why don't you take a sample? On the house, just for you. Does this guy know that we want to kill her husband? <laughs> just say what's going on here. <laughs> oh, well, uh... I assure you, ma'am, you will not be disappointed. Because she said that she didn't notice that this gas station was there before, right? What are these little things? I don't. I don't really understand why. Why those? Oh, am I supposed to let? Th I'm supposed to let them hit. Yeah, he looked like he looked like um, an apparition or. Uh, or like a skeleton or something. Yeah, I like the feel too. Fear. Now, now do I destroy them? Fungal? Bunny? Hope. What did that say? Fate? Maybe I have to kill... Chance? Oh, those ones I can't hit. Oh, I can! I see, I see what I have to do. I know, Voyage, I, I can read. <laughs> I just this the what? So I have to I have to Venom Hope. Get we gotta re get rid of hope. And fate? There we go. <sighs> Hi Walt. Uh it's hotter than the devil's armpit outside. No kidding, thought I was gonna melt. Ain't a little early to be breaking out the wine? What are you smiling for? It's all done. What is? You mean, you finish your book? Yup. But that's, that's wonderful. Why didn't you? The publishers already gave me the green light. I sent them the initial chapters. I don't want to jinx anything before it's set in stone. But they're saying the folks from Metro Silvermire are interested. Might even turn it into a motion picture, they said. Just imagine. Starring Clark Gable. I thought he quit acting. Then Harry Cooper, who cares? That's not the gosh darn point. Hollywood, Laura. You're right, I'm sorry. Oh, Walter. I'm so happy, good for you. Good for us, sweetheart. Can the wine wait a little? I'll get to fixing us a real nice supper. How's about you cook up that steak you know I love? Honestly didn't expect it. For a moment it felt... So everything could change. It's a flash of hope. And salt. Walter publishes his novel, and we return to New York, to our apartment on 12th Avenue, just as if we never left. Life goes back to normal again. Chop the meat? Why would you chop it? It's a steak. Dice the vegetables. What? Why are you putting vegetables on it? What is this? Harder than a witch's tit. This is the most odd game I've seen in a while. Has it gotten even odder? 
<laughs> I don't think I've ever seen someone put carrot on top of a steak. Maybe that's the thing in the 40s. I don't know. But still, he'd made promises before. He'd already found another woman before I could start unpacking my damn suitcase. She did say she was a mediocre housewife. <laughs> is that? Is Yeah, is this an old timey thing? He's gambled us into the ground when we already dirt poor. Why should I think any of that'll stop in New York? No, something's... Something deep inside me. Something strange had been triggered. That couldn't stop it. Alright, it's vote time, everybody. There is a poll in the chat. Add poison. <laughs> yes. Oh wow, it's 50 it's 50/50. Don't do it, Loretta. Save the husbando. It's 50/50. We need another vote. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, just went into the lead. Anyone else want to vote? We got nine votes. Oh, another vote for yes. Maybe Walter still accidentally will accidentally do it himself if we don't. That would be something. Okay. Ten votes. Rad in the poison. It's happening. Sonny's like, get rid of him! Hey, how's it going? Ready. Coming right up. He's talking with his mouth full. Mm, this day was delicious. Thank you. Last time I ate this good was back in Big Apple. We barely touched her. I ain't hungry. Well. I ran into Margaret today. Did ya? <clears throat> <clears throat> so how was she? Fatter than uh, when I last saw her, if you ask me. You think so? Not like I'm one to talk, I've certainly let myself go. But think about, uh, what it's like to be in her shoes, Lo. Poor girl's been all alone. Ever since Clarence bought the farm. But you bought a farm too, so what's wrong with that? Looks a touch rare! <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't really need to poison them, because she didn't really cook the steak. Got to be hard for her, and you. Points his fork at Loretta. As a woman, ought to empathize with her a little more. And that's why you chose to soothe the grieving widow. Wh what? What's that supposed to mean? You know exactly what that's supposed to mean. I already told you. It's over. You must think I'm dumber than a box of rocks. What are you trying to achieve here, huh? Why can't we just celebrate? Enjoy a nice supper. Like ordinary civilized folk. I'm fed up with your tricks, Walter. Fed up with you treating me like shit. Fed up with lingering in this godforsaken dump. With all the racists and whores. Nobody forced you to move out here, Loretta. Listen, I know you blame me for what happened to John. Slams his fist into the table. Nice fucking supper. You just couldn't help yourself, could you? Why do you need to bring this shit up again? Why now? 
What is with you today? No, you're right. Let's just keep it bottled up inside. I'll hush. I'll be a good housewife. And you can keep fucking around with that ginger slut. John's the, 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 um, the son that died. So she was pregnant and wasn't, uh, she had that issue with the pregnancy. So it didn't go through and then she did have a son. Then everyone will be happy. Enough. I'm not listening to this shit anymore. And if you must know, I do. I do blame you. Oh, finally. The brave man comes out and says it. I've read the police report. You're such a hypocrite. C Laura? I had no idea you could be so full of crap. I've read the... What? Murphy. Murderer. <laughs> what a pumping space bar. A pumping space bar to move the body. Walter looks like he's trying to say something. Wait, is there, is there UFOs in the background? But only the sound of gurgling can be heard. And he slow, as he slowly chokes to death. Burn in hell, Walter. Act of violence achievement unlocked. I must admit, I don't like it when people say honestly. Or to tell you the truth. It always gives the impression that they've been shamelessly lying to you up till that point. But there's something transcendental about murder. Something beyond our understanding, despite how regular and natural it seems. Otherwise, why else would anyone do it? Oh, don't accuse a woman of being a liar when she doesn't know how to be honest with herself. Stillborn like my first child, like a poet who speaks no languages. Like a deaf, blind, and mute person in a world of sound, color, and signs. I won't reach the truth with words. I can't give it shape. There's one truth I know, though. Walter is dead. Dead. You don't like people, do you? I didn't say that, but truth be told, I don't expect any good to come from them. I think, I think moth. You think people want to hurt you? I think we're wasting our time here. Why is that? Look, I know how this works. First, we look at some pictures together and have a nice little chat. I saw hips. <laughs> or angels. Then tomorrow you dig into my brain with a metal rod. You're exaggerating. Lobotomies have alleviated suffering for a great many people. In your case, however, I doubt it'll be required. I'd like to believe that. Let's continue, shall we? Moth. Uh... None of those things? <laughs> yeah, like hips. <laughs> like hip bone. Maybe. Or like a pelvis. I actually agree with you there, Voyage. I don't think of rat, necklace, or well, but the closest thing would be like, uh, which I, I guess is vagina. <laughs> I don't... Uh, or thorax, yeah, the necklace. How do you see, how do you see a well? I 
<laughs> I see an ink splatter. Hey, Mary. Is that a lung? See, there's no option for lung either. I see two taps at the bottom. And how does that make a well? Vagina. It's the closest to what I was seeing. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. What is? Your associative pattern. My husband, my husband calls them tricks. But it was he who brought you here, wasn't it? So pay attention. Blood. Oh. Once again, I don't see any of these things. Um... Oh, you see a cradle? Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Are the ink blots supposed to be symmetrical? Wheat. Because of, like, everything pointing out? Crow in eyes? I'll go with cradle. Is something wrong? Yeah. These are just spotches. Ain't nothing to see in them. Oh, I, I guess that's the point, is that they didn't look like any of those things. Whatever I do see is only in my imagination. This ain't fair. I ain't done nothing wrong. Life isn't fair. At your age, it's high time you realize that. Oh, don't be so gloomy. How did that saying go? In Italy, under the rule of the Borgia? Leko, how did that saying go? We're waiting. Spiky cradle. Yeah. Terror, murder, and bloodshed reigned. It ended up giving birth to Michelangelo, Da Vinci, and the Renaissance. In Switzerland, brotherly love, democracy, and peace were established for 500 years. Do you know what they produced? The cuckoo clock. That's pretty cool, though. We did some other things, too, like, like, uh, offshore banking or uh, international money laundering. <laughs> I woke up with an awful pain spreading through my whole body. I thought that was going to be the end of the game. Came in waves, like one blow after another. One eye was all swollen and watery. Felt like it was gonna burst. Well, I wanted it to burst. Not that it helped none. Now the pain was focused somewhere else. When I opened my eyes, first thing I saw was a crooked and rusty nail. Sticking out of my foot! And right through my own skin. So I tugged it free. Son of a bitch! I was ready to howl. Ready to scream at the top of my damn lungs. Best I could muster was a whimper, though. It's like the top of that metal nail. Smiling up at me like some Cheshire cat. Okay, one more try. Stay calm. Breathe. Come on, low focus. Holy fuck! <laughs> Shit! Goddamn porch! Goddamn nail! Why couldn't you hammer it in like I asked? The hell's wrong with you, Walter? Trying to make it easier for me to finish you off? Hell, why am I even asking you? Ain't like you ever knew which end of a hammer to use anyway. This is some wicked irony. All right. Oh Lord, I could see rust stuck in the wound. Damn. Uh, ain't no time to dwell on that now. All right. 
One more time. Again! Come on! So... When we were coming back in, we, we stepped on the nail? The gaping wound stared back at me. An awful blood red gash. Last night felt like a bad dream. But to fade into memory. Still. My ripped up muddy dress. My aching leg. The puddle of my own vomit. They all suggested otherwise. I need to get rid of those reminders. As soon as I can. I'm gonna be sick. You got the tetanus. <laughs> Reminder of last night is just there. Ah, what a mess. It was from yesterday's supper. What about the vomit? Wait, it's gone. I'm gonna take off this dress first. Think about the rest later. Okay. Why am I going back? Oh, my head. My leg hurts too. Saw some pills in the bathroom. Can't take this any longer. Let's see if we can go now. Where's the bathroom? Oh yeah, no, I, uh, we every, everyone knows that song. I can't remember the name of it though. I'm ready to go out yet. Need to change out of these clothes. Where's the bathroom? Thanks to Pleasant Armin said, it wasn't lying. Requiem in D minor by Mozart. Here we go. I should get this shovel out of the way, but I can't shake the feeling that I might need it later. <laughs> Is this? Oh, maybe this is it. Yeah, okay, I didn't notice there was a door there. I knew you were in here somewhere. It expired. A long time ago, too. Should I? Yeah, you'll be fine. What does it matter? Not like things can get any worse. I don't think, uh, it isn't just the effect of the medication. Uh, work like lesson. After expiring, maybe it depends on the medicine.
That's better. How to get rid of this dress. Who the hell could that be? Laura! You look like you've seen better days. What happened? Mind calling out Walter for me? Go fuck yourself! <laughs> Wait! Wait! <laughs> He's so back! Do we send her out back and then whack her in the head with a shovel? <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Oh, weird. The thing that I set didn't set properly. <laughs> Ask what she wants of them. What do you need him for? Walt and I were supposed to see each other today. But he never showed. When he didn't show up, I... I don't know how to say it, but... If Walter's good at anything, it's leaving women. Wait, you... You know? But you and Walter? You think I'm blind, Margaret? Okay. I don't hold grudges, but we can get her to... If we can get her to come in still. I don't hold grudges. Don't worry. I don't hold grudges. Especially not against someone like you. Really? Margaret's face breaks into a silly smile. The affair was eating her up inside. But Loretta's words seemed to lift the heavy load from her heart. Still, Loretta couldn't help but think if a few niceties was all it took. The load couldn't have been that heavy to begin with. There's no such thing as wrongdoing, Margaret. Only doing. Hand of my heart, I ain't got no- I ain't- I ain't go no clue where he's gone. I ain't got no clue where he's gone. I- I kind of regret not inviting her into the back and whacking her with the shovel. Maybe I'll still have the opportunity, but... This damn suitcase ain't even here. You know, Walter. Maybe he got himself in hot water again. Or maybe he just ran off and left us both behind. Who can tell? Laura? I... I don't know what to say. I best get going. Damn it! I should have trusted my instincts! <laughs> Outback is not lying. I thought I'd still get a chance <laughs> to send her out back. Probably still could have gone worse, though. At the very least, I bought myself some time. Time to come to my senses. Consider. Think. Margaret may not be all that smart, but she knows how to play dirty. Bitch is up to no good. Plain and simple. Just a matter of time now. Alright, now for the manuscript. Ought to be in the study. What the Sam Hill? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. I didn't hear anything. The storm destroyed several power lines yesterday. Dozens were left without power. Authorities are reminding citizens to beware of looters. In other news... Oh, do you think he's alive? Oh, maybe it's the basement? Why is it so dark in here? My foot hurts. Where's that sound coming from? Where's the lamp? It smells wretched. It's all get out down here. Pipe's making weird noises again. This ain't the first time. But Walter sh would usually take care of it. It just ain't my day. <laughs> Today just ain't my day. 
Remove the fabric from the portrait. Portrait of Walter's mother, Edna. It's covered in dust. A tag on the jaw says, Chicory Root. It's a decent coffee substitute when you're out of money. Oh. Unsettling hole? I, I, my gamer sense is telling me to grab the steel bar. Give it a whack. Keep your hands. Yeah, sure. Whack it. Edna, she must have been smoking hot if she was named after a volcano. Maybe the volcano was named after her. Whew. That should do it. I don't know where this hole came from, or where it leads, but I ain't in any hurry to find out. Okay. What's that on the ground? Relax, Laura. It's just your imagination is all. What are we doing? The manuscript? I wonder if you could, I wonder if you could just get through without killing your husband, though. I really stepped foot in Walter's study. Everything here is just as it was yesterday. An open bottle of bourbon and that old beat-up typewriter. Sheets of paper tied with a ribbon lie next to it. Chapters of Straw Bull. The rest of the manuscript should be in the safe. An open envelope lays next to it. It's an informal letter of, letter of official looking paper certified by a secretary. Dear Mr. Harris, Walter, the bull is positively sensational. Although I do believe we should give the title some consideration. I could say without a shadow of a doubt that this is your best work yet, and I am only halfway through reading it. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I already spoke to Thompson at MCM. And they want to talk, and they want to talk. Send me the rest as soon as it's ready. The contracts are drafted. There's just a couple of formalities left. P.S. I already ordered the cover designs. You're going to love them. Sincerely, Jerry. It's gold, Jerry. Gold, I tell you. Stamp. Gerald Foster Schaefer. Atlantic Press Publishing House. He wasn't lying. Is he in the oven or something? I have no idea. Well, like, the well... Is the well connected to the, the, um, the pipes? Gold, Jerry! <laughs> yeah, I did hear about the AI stream. They, they t did it, did it come back up or, uh, did they fix the issue? Well, right, I can finish the book. Aren't we doing that? They were waiting. Details had been negotiated. Contract signed. They just needed a little push was all. Weighed myself comfortable in the leather desk chair. Or made myself just the carriage. And began tapping. Dear Mr. Schaefer, I regret to inform you that my husband Walter Harris has gone missing. It's possible something may have happened to him. Or perhaps he simply ran out on his love-deprived wife. His reasoning is beyond me. I'm writing because you were interested in Walter's latest manuscript. Straw Bull. By coincidence, the manuscript currently sits in my possession. Oh, it was finished, I think, right? So she doesn't have to finish it. The original. There are no copies. Mr. Schaefer, I assume that you are a busy man, so I'll cut to the chase. As far as I know, your company has taken out a life insurance policy on Walter. Due to this extraordinary development, I must ask you... As you send a check with the amount applicable in the event of his passing. He wish to see this manuscript in its entirety. Despite my disagreements with Walter, I am convinced that readers and fans of his talent should not be deprived of his latest masterpiece. I will send the manuscript the day the check is received. As I understand, that is rightfully belongs to you and your firm, which has done so much for our family. Most faithfully, Loretta Lou Harris. Okay, this is, te this is a confession. Oh, it was two weeks, man.
back on the AI definitely won't switch to that one again. What did they change something? Oh, they AI, they switched it. They switched to a different one. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, okay, so this is dumb, but lick the envelope, sure. All done. Now I just gotta wait. The pain in my leg was getting worse. So on my way to the post office, I decided to stop at the gas station again. Something wasn't right. Gas station looked different that day. Kind of like something was missing. In that same vein, I was seeing everything in a brand new light. Like looking through a cracked microscope glass or something. Also, where's her? Where are her hands? Is she driving down down low? Is she a low driver? Although I ain't ever looked through a microscope in my entire life. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Ma'am? Are you the owner here? Yes, ma'am. Where'd the other man go? What other man? Skinny one. You must be mistaken, ma'am. I'm the only one working here. Need some gas, ma'am? Actually, you got any painkillers here? <laughs> Do it again. That's what I wanted to tell you. Don't trust me. If there's something to be spammed. I shall spam it. Don't worry about it. This ain't no drugstore. And I'll just take a bottle of whiskey. Cheapest you got. So from the nail to the letter. Let me guess, we gotta, we gotta shoot some stuff. My name is William Henry Carter. I've been this country sheriff for the last three years. Early in the morning of August 12th, 1947, I got a call from the Harris farm. Mrs. Harris claimed that her husband, Mr. Harris, had gone missing. I love the style. It's cool. How old is Walter, ma'am? 45? And how long have the two of you been married? 16 years? Has he? Uh. Sheriff chokes back the urge to vomit. Did he already poison him? Dude. For the sake of decency, Loretta pretends not to notice. Pardon me, has Walter gone missing before? Or is he like. Is, is he supposed to be. <laughs> is the vomit still on the ground? <laughs> I didn't get a chance to clean up the vomit. I think our vomit's still on the ground and he's smelling it or something. No. This would be the first time. Hot damn. The hangover's got. Oh, okay. No, he's like <laughs> over it's not the vomit on the ground I guess but why is the shovel here how many shovels do we have do we just have shovels in every room and every like inside the back door inside the front door just strategic shovels and he's hung over the hangovers get worse every time feels like my head's about to explode well you did throw back two full bottles by yourself. What did you expect? 
Not one bottle. Not a bottle and a half. Two fucking bottles, Bill. I wonder if she could smell the booze on my breath. What am I saying? Of course she does, jackass. Women always smell this shit. You're in deep trouble now, Bill. So now we're playing as him. Investigating the crime that we committed. When was the last time you saw Walter? Uh, when did you notice he was missing, ma'am? Yesterday morning? I thought he'd gone to the city at first. But the car was still parked by the house. Then even rolls around and he still ain't back. So I called you today. Dirty shuffle. <laughs> what if we told you Loretta has a surefire way to make it? To, uh, to make it where you don't worry about being hung over ever again. <laughs> this game makes me unfocused. It's all clear as day. Or is it? Something ain't right. You really need this right now? Better sleep it off in a car. Give it a couple hours at least. There's always the hair of the dog. Nah. I'll just grab a bowl of soup or something. But now ain't the time for pondering soup. What are you staring at me like that for, sweetheart? You think finding a missing person's a piece of cake? Expecting me to pull him out of my hat or something? See if you could stand to carry a couple of city slickers around. Only thing you're good for, Bill, is lugging around a hip flask. Well, to hell with all that. Um. Okay. Lord is standing there, arms folded. She's like, are you going to say something? <laughs> Your miracle cure involved Bonk. <laughs> Bill's cosplaying is Raphael Ambrosius Cousteau. Yeah, I guess kind of, eh? Staring you down like she's fixing to ask you a question. Or simply challenge your authority. What a dish, though. Younger than you? But not by much, I reckon. And she's got a great ass to boot. So, a writer, huh? Can you say you're surprised, Bill? A loser like you. Could never score a dame like her. Got a queer look in her eyes, though. Figures, considering her man just took off. Poor gal. Uh, okay. Strange stain. A stain. Can't quite tell what it was. This house has seen better days, that's for sure. Got an odd smell to it, too. Ugh, better not puke in front of her. Catch you by surprise there, sunshine? Stay in a house, it's a shack. That must be why the guy took off. But look who's talking. You live in a trailer, you jackass. You used to be a pilot, a hero. Where are all the he uh, heroics now, Billy boy? Drowned in hooch is where they are. Ugh, maybe I should ask you for a painkiller. Everyone's on the painkillers! Nah, I better not. Was Walter acting suspiciously before his disappearance? Tell me, ma'am. Was Walter acting strange at all? Did he do anything unusual before he disappeared? No, sir. Nothing that comes to mind. Do your children live with you? Got no children. No children. <laughs> no husband. Job. If you're not careful, you'll be three for three yourself. You dumb drunk. Got no kids. Nor any wife to speak of, neither. What about Maggie? Oh. Nah, Maggie's a different type of broad. Alright, cowboy, strain your brain. Just a couple more questions. Then we can wrap up this sideshow. Did Walter have any health conditions? You're trying to imply he's crazy? Well... No, sir. My husband's in his rap mind. Was he in the military? Yeah, he was. But he never did like talking about it. Said he spent two years on a boat. Somewhere out in the Philippines writing propaganda. Or propaganda. At least that's my understanding of it. 
You know pamphlets about Hitler, Hirohito, and the like? I chose not to pry any deeper than that. I see. Is it bad I want overall good things for Bill? He's trying. He's struggling, but he's trying. So this is Walter's study. Yeah, he spends most of his day in here. The sheriff sniffs. Has anything changed since he went missing? Hard to say. What about family? My family? No, ma'am, your husband's. Ah, well, he has a sister over in New York City. Can't say we've ever been all that close. Don't suppose you have her number. I'm afraid I do not. The sheriff's mouth curves into a deep frown. May I ask what happened to your leg? Now we're playing as her. <laughs> Should push Bill into the strange hole. <laughs> it's, it's, this is a weird, a weird game. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I, I checked it out finally. <laughs> Would you like something to drink? Excuse me, ma'am. Do you like a drink? We've got bourbon. Might even have some whiskey left. No, ma'am. Thank you, but I'm still on duty. Did Walter take anything with him when he left? A photo, or maybe a postcard? Implicate the women Walter had an affair with. Or the woman, yeah. Yeah. How would we- how would we do that, Dio? Or clobber him with a shovel! Or we just pick up the safe and hit him in the head with it. Or stab him in the in the neck with this uh, gigantic. Hold on, that's a huge. If that's supposed to be a stuffed duck, look at the size of that freaking duck. Oh man. Hmm. Do you know if anything's missing from the safe? Oh no. Walter keeps his manuscripts in there. You didn't take those with him? I ain't sure. Don't know the combination. Hmm. Did Walter keep up any extensive correspondence with anyone? Any that you're aware of, at least. Huge mallard, yeah. Or maybe someone you just uh, learned of recently. Hmm, well, Walter spoke with his publisher, of course. Probably to some other writers as well. And his old war buddies, most likely. Mind if I take a look at the letter? This one? Vote time! <laughs> uh... What are the options again? Read them myself. Stick letter opener in throat. <laughs> Pass him on the loop. All right, guys, full time. Now this will be entertaining. Okay, stick a letter opener in throat has come off to an early D. It's at 50% now. Pass him envelope. It's taken over. Oh, this is this is this is exciting. It's 4545. Stick a letter opener in throat. Pass him the envelope. Pass him envelope has taken the lead. We got 12 votes. Is pass him the envelope going to win? You guys are just too nice. See? Stabbing is better than poison or shovel. <laughs> Bill doesn't deserve this. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that affecting you? Because we actually were playing as the character. 
Renee's just like, nah, I voted for death. Okay, uh... Five, four, three, two, one. Pass him the envelope is the winner. Sheriff carefully studies the envelope. You should read them. Might offer you some clarity. <laughs> Rene is like, I'm banning you all. I was rooting for him to have a nicer death than poison, says Lydra. <laughs> All right, Miss Harris. I'll be frank. The chances of us finding Walter are pretty slim. It's more likely that he'll reappear by himself when he's ready. I have to admit, this sort of thing happens from time to time. Sometimes folks just get a little overwhelmed. They run away from deaths, creditors, wives, without realizing they can't ever run away from themselves. Well, I appreciate your wisdom, Sheriff. But what happens now? I'll get to contacting the local precincts in the meantime. Then the nearest hospitals, the morgue. It's a big country. Your husband could be anywhere. Ma'am? So if we hadn't like done all the cleanup, he would have seen all that stuff, right? I, and I, I'm really curious to know like how that would change the story. Don't do this to poor Bill. <laughs> Maybe we could drop Walter off at the morgue. Bill doesn't look into the well. He can go. But if he does, murder him. Because then the chick is up. Forgive me. I know this is a difficult subject. But I have to ask. Did you and Walt have any fights before he went missing? Oh, wait. This is a weird... It's almost like one follows from the other. I wouldn't say so, but things have been pretty rocky lately. Hmm. I don't I don't know, Pumpkinhead, if the story changes based on our choices. Things have been pretty rocky. I think we have to be a little bit honest because we let the uh we let the woman that he was having an affair with live, right? Things have been pretty rocky lately. Hmm. You know, I think Walter and I might have gone to the same school. Only got one school right here, so it ain't all that surprising. Was there anyone else in contact? Was there anyone else he was in contact with around here? Any friends or neighbors? Enemies, even? Someone I could talk to? No, sir. At least not that I'm aware of. Does that thing still work, by the by? What? Uh, the well. Behind you there. Better than ever. Might if I take a look? Sure is dark. I wonder how deep it goes. You know, if you ain't using it, then that'd be grounds for getting fined. You better ask someone to board it. Wait, what's that? Oh shit! It's not a rat! Sure is a beady one. Look at that. He's trying to climb his way out. That fellow's braver than all get out. Suckers breed faster than rabbits. So I'd recommend buying some rat poison or something. Probably got yourself a right nest down there. You got anyone around that can help you, ma'am? I could send my boy, uh, my boys to you if you don't. I'll board it up for you in no time. Thank you, Sheriff. I can handle it myself.
The rat saved Bill. Why did I smoke? Go right ahead. This is a mistake in my opinion. You think so? Life's dealt me a bad hand. That or I just ain't been playing them right, I don't know. Everybody has problems. I don't know who's speaking here. It's all about how we respond to them. Don't give me that. I shouldn't need to remind you the war is over. Men shot each other, stabbed each other, killed each other. You guys, you guys are enjoying this? Yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. I love playing different stuff like this. And for what? Men aren't the only ones who fight in wars. No, but it's the men who's starting them. Ever heard of the Chinese ruler Wu Zichan? Should I? There's no such thing as wrongdoing, Loretta. Only doing. Anyway, how are you feeling in general? Honestly? Pretty good. We're gonna confirm that now. Please concentrate. I, Loretta is a very interesting character so far, yeah. Saturday Night Vibe game, yeah. You guys are enjoying the writing? Yeah, yeah. It's just blood! I feel like the world has changed too fast. And I don't feel safe. I mean, I don't know what I mean anymore. Let's continue. Oh, the bird. The well? Don't let what I did fool you. I'm a good person. Well, an ordinary person. But people sure love labeling things. Smart folk always have the simple answers. It's so easy to trip yourself up once. Way easier than you'd think. Easier than a round of gin rummy. Getting your hands on a pair of nylon stockings. It's very convenient, too. What do you mean by that? Well, it's tempting to commit an unforgivable act. Then reveal, uh, then revel in self-pity. Making excuses for the rest of your life. Now don't you start with that. Have you ever heard the saying, let sleeping dogs lie? That's exactly what you chose not to do. I wish they have the, like, who is speaking there so I could do the voices properly. Uh, it's a gift. So that's a letter to some kind of parcel or gift. Can I go back? Or is she talking to herself? I guess it could be. It seemed like she was talking to a therapist, though. Oh, okay. Florida subconscious? Could be. Alright, see ya, Voyage. A call from New York for Mr. Harris? Connect us. 
You think you can blackmail us, toots? You think you can blackmail us, toots? Blackmail? Well, sure, if that's what you want to call it. But since I'm the one who owns the manuscript, I think it'd be more appropriate to call it... Reimbursement? Or maybe compensation. And for the presumed widow of a talented writer. You could even print that on the dust jacket. Where's Harris? Listen here, lady, nobody messes with Jerry Schaefer. Jerry Schaefer! I hung up. But he'll call again. Make no mistake. People like Schaefer never miss an opportunity for profit. Even if it means exchanging sweet pleasantries with threats. But that still leaves, leaves me with a problem. Safe combination. I searched the whole damn house for a clue, a note, anything. But it looks like old Walter. Old fuddy duddy Walter. Who by supper would always have forgotten. What he ate for breakfast, or sometimes mixed up his left for right. That same lying bastard Walter only ever kept the combination in that good for nothing brain of his. Tried his birthday, a wedding anniversary, his mother's birthday, and even the date of his first publication. Nothing worked. Must have written the combination down somewhere, Walter. You're a writer, you wrote everything down. Lorena dumped all her stat points into cunning and persuasion. <laughs> and strength! Cost of onion rings. What was the, uh... Was there, was there a price? Crime and punishment. Oh! Never heard of it. We got a key, though. It's a key hidden in the book. It ought to open up one of the doors in this house. No clue which one, though. Maybe Walt's parents' bedroom? Wait a second! They never looked! They never checked the books? Birthday of the sun? Could be. Letter from Kelly. Hey, Daddy. How are you doing? How's Laura? I hope y'all are doing okay. I'm just... I'm doing just fine. Sorry it took me so long to write you back. Things have been pretty crazy recently. You know how it is. Did you finish your novel? I think you did. You've been working on it for so long now. Daddy, I've got some big news I want to talk about. I don't know when you'll get this letter, though. Anyway, Mickey and I are going to come visit. So let's talk in person. Swack? What's Swack mean? Is this a, a a child from a different woman? Seriously, wacky ass kebab. Oh, sealed with a kiss. Is it a double life? Or... Okay. We read this already. Yeah. Maybe he had a... He was married before? I'm interested in here. Except for... The Grand Koopa? He's got to deal with Bowser! Let's a go. <laughs> I can't get over that... That Mario Kart uh, movie spoof with uh, Pedro Pascal. It was so good. Let's a go. A cigar club? I never seen Walter smoke a cigar. There's an address on it. 11 Rainwood Street. Must be in the city. I could pay a visit. It's not... Now that I think about it, this isn't a murder mystery game, really, is it? It's like a reverse murder mystery game? It's like you're trying to... hide the... get away with the crime? 
But I guess you are investigating it also as the as the the sheriff or whatever. Ticket stub, scribble papers, a ladder. Horse racing, hmm. Only Walter could find a racetrack out in the middle of nowhere. The key from the book fits. Heavens to... What's that smell? I gotta open a window or something. Wait, they never, like... What? I guess... I guess it's possible they looked everywhere and they didn't bother, like... They never touched those books. They were just there. I don't know how to describe this game other than as an experience. Yeah, it's kind of, um... I don't know how much the decisions you make affect the story, but yeah, it is, it is very much like a, uh, you're just playing through a story, story experience. Yeah, it's well put. Is it going to be that she's creating all this? Maybe we're in one of his novels. Maybe we're playing through the novel that he wrote. Empty. An old suitcase. Suitcase is bound tightly with twine. I can't break through it with my bare hands. I mean, this is this is like a classic. A classic point and click at this point. And click. The flowers are all dried up. Discharged man shoots parents. Guggenheim Warehouse Fire. Ransom paid, but child not found. Olsen family offers reward. I remember this case. Someone kidnapped the daughter of some hoity-toity oil tycoon. Affair with a killer. I only remember the black tulip. A strange photograph. There's a key in here. It looks like the kind used to open a safety deposit box. But where? Somewhere in the city. What the hell, Walter? Oh, okay. So it's not that he didn't find the key, it's that he did find the key and he was using it to hide stuff. What else were you hiding from me? The day promised to be eventful. Not just because of the secret of Walter's past. I still needed to open that goddamn safe. But I was plumb out of ideas. I considered throwing it out the window. But there's no way that thing was going to budge. I won't get that check without the manuscript. Is there some way to just airmail the whole safe to Schaefer? I needed to come up with something and fast. So I decided to head into the city. Uh, what? Hardware store, bus depot. We get to choose? Oh, that's cool. Um, I guess we'll we'll go to the address first. It, it's combining a bunch of different styles. Hmm. What can I get you? Sort of bother you. I'm looking for the Koopa Cigar Club. Is this the place? What? Can't you read? Look at the sign, lady. This is a bar. We don't sell cigars here, only drinks. So I suggest you either order one or take a hike. Not very inviting. Cigarette vending machine. Absolutely. I, I highly recommend if you're interested in anything that I'm playing to stop watching and play it yourself. 
and uh, you can always come back and watch the the VOD later to see how it compared. Hey, start over four. I quit smoking a long time ago, though I've been regretting it more and more lately. Well, that bartender seems like a totally well-adjusted individual. It's coming from someone that <laughs> poisoned your husband. I shouldn't bother him if I don't plan on ordering anything. Excuse me. Hmm. I don't suppose you know where I can find the Koopa Cigar Club? Cigar Club. Ah, you're looking at it, babe. But it was shut down a year, maybe two years ago. All's left of it is, uh... All's left of it now is this shithole. Bartender looks over displeased. Where do you think you are? The Ritz or something? Bartender looks away even more displeased. A year or two. Why is pretty dame like you looking for a cigar club anyway? Yeah, that would be cool too to uh, check to see uh, how it's different. Yeah, that's the other interesting thing. Uh, start over saying you have ultra wide. Me too. This game has this like extreme aspect ratio. Here, why don't I buy you a drink instead? Thanks, but I'm in a hurry. Of course you are. I don't understand. This ain't making any sense. Let me take another look at that matchbox. Hmm, the address is right. But there's no way these matches are two years old. Hey, there's a phone number on the other side. <laughs> she never looked at the other side. Is this written with a ballpoint pen? Must be recent then. How the hell did I miss this? I could call the number, but what good will that do? If the club really did close a couple of years ago, maybe that loser got it wrong. I should find a phone. What if I use your phone? Bartender sighs heavily. It's out back. By the John. We are a murderer, but not rude, yeah. Creepy picture. That dog sure is scary looking. Well, at least it ain't playing poker. Smells like piss in here. And Lord knows what else. Yo. Can I go in here? Place is pretty creepy. She failed the investigation check when she found the matchbox, rolled a natural one. This is like disco. Call home. No, we'll, we'll let's call the number on the matchbox. It's you. I know who you are. You shouldn't have dialed this number. Who are you? Do I know you? We'll be seeing each other soon. Let's go to the hardware store. I think I need another shovel after that. Ma'am, I already told you. To open a safe, and I mean any safe, though I can't say for sure which one you have. An old one. Well, old or new, you'll need an, uh, either a very good locksmith or a very good thief. Precisely. And I'm afraid I'm neither. All I sell is doorknobs and fasters, ma'am. What a waste of time. Well, that went better than the last place we went to. Oh, the pin's gone. So I guess we can go back to the bar if we want to. Because the pin's not gone. More to find there. If this key really belongs to the bus depot... I must open one of the lockers here. 
Buy U.S. savings bonds and stamps. Another creepy dog. Some drunk's falling asleep right next to the locker I need to get into. I hope my cat didn't backseat too much. What's your cat's name, Glotzy? Doorknobs and fasteners, no murder weapons. Well, we're all sold out of, of uh, shovels for some reason. Some lady came in the other day when I wasn't here. Bought all the shovels. Is this going to be one of those situations where I need to order a drink and like give it to him to get him out of the way? Is it one of these games? I think I do. I think I have to go get a drink and give it to him. That's just like classic point and click stuff. L Lilia? Is it pronounced Lilia? Bottle of liquor, please. Cheapest you got. Oh, the lady finally decided to have some fun. Don't ask. Well, you have a lovely evening. Can I can I call home? What's with this creepy fog, dude? I already tried calling. No use going back and smelling piss again. Uh, you guys did say the fog was coming earlier. It's their prime bonking time. <laughs> there's, there's some drunk in front of the lockers. Wait, I'm not even driving on the road? So we gotta, <laughs> we gotta give him a bottle of liquor, of course, to get him out of the way. This is, this is like really classic old school point and click. Hey, pal. Got a bottle of something you might like. Oh, but, but? Look, just move over, would you? Thank God that worked. Some kind of parcel here. I don't get it. Wait, or uh, Walt. What does all this mean? I should wait till I get home to open it. Hey, who the hell are- They say unto me, prophecy unto the wind, prophecy son of man. And say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God. Come from the four winds, zero breath and breath upon the slain, that they may live. Da -da, da -da. Wait, I've got no place left to go. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, uh, Excavation of Hobbs Barrow is one that I want to play. There's also the case of the Golden Idol. Um. This isn't good. I think I broke the game. Oh, no, <laughs> there's, there's one up here. I thought, see, they should put a color on there so you notice it better, but that's okay. On my way home, I got to thinking, maybe I just made a mistake. The man on the other end of that wire could have been anyone, an old friend, a comrade in arms, or some other failed writer. It was amazing how after Walt's death, I was starting to learn so much about him. Way more than I than what I knew of him when he was still alive. Things that were obviously private. Things he didn't want to share with his own wife. Then suddenly, the engine overheated. Goddamn bucket of bolts! Lord, what did I do to deserve this? Who am I kidding? You know perfectly well, Loretta. So I walked. 
Good thing the house is only half a mile away. I noticed a luxurious white car right away. Parked by my front porch. I'd never seen a car quite like it. Some old man with a cane was standing next to it. And something deep in my gut told me nothing good was going to come from this meeting. Can I help you? Uh, go call out your husband, sweetheart. I'd like to speak to the property owner. I'm the property owner? Ah, well, that explains it. What are you needing all this land for, anyway? Oil Tycoon. -y. Was there something about an oil tycoon? Yeah, wood paneling. Such a weird thing. It's voice acted, yeah. Um, it's a Wadget I published game, so they tend to be voice acted. I kind of missed out on, on doing it right away. I probably should have, but I think I was playing some other stuff at the time. But someday I'll jump back. I'll, ju I'll, I'll play that. Well, I got a mind to sell it, but I didn't catch your name. Name's Peter Solomon Morgan Jr. But y'all can call me Mr. Morgan. I own the land down southeast of here. Which means I have the misfortune of being your neighbor. What's that supposed to mean? Come, take a look. Why is your hand all shiny like? See this? The whole lot's rotten. Ain't even worth feeding to the livestock. Thank you kindly for showing me some dirt. But I fail to see how this has anything to do with me. Fail to see, do you? Morgan's old face turns purple with anger. Fifty acres of fertile land. Reduced to nothing but horse shit. My sincere congratulations. S so what? And that has what to do with me? I hired a specialist. Through his investigating, he concluded that drainage installed on your property is wrecking my crops. I was looking to have a conversation with the real property owner. You know, resolve the issue peaceful like. But I guess that just ain't on the cards. Let's calm down here. I don't know much about farming. Hell, I don't even know what you mean by drainage. I remember you just finished Monkey Island. Oh, right. That's probably what it was. Yeah, I just played a point and click. I wanted to do something else. Speaking of doing some other things, guys, next week is going to be so much fun. We've got Atomic Heart coming out on Monday, uh, which I'm going to do for YouTube because I finish up Dead Space. Uh, for like uh, VODs, not in stream. I pre-ordered a PlayStation VR 2, which hopefully will arrive on uh, Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday? Whatever day it comes out. The 22nd. Which is... Wednesday. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna be streaming Resident Evil 8 VR. Uh, I'll do, like, a stream to, like, test stuff out first. And then we'll, we'll start Resident Evil 8. One stream. And then on... Uh, we also have uh, Sons of the Forest Early Access coming out, which I might just take do like one stream of to take a look at it and then wait till the full game comes out. We got Kerbal Space Program 2 coming out in Early Access. Oh, and there's another game called um, uh, The Pale Beyond, 
which looks really cool. It's like a uh, Arctic exploration style, like choose your own adventure game. That's coming out on Friday. And also there's a demo for Wo Long, which is by the uh, developers of Neo. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff happening next week, so I'm going to be real busy. And we still got Metroid Prime. Uh, I want to get back to uh, doing some more of uh, the, the King's Chronicles as well. Uh, and there's supposed to be an update for your Dome Keeper coming out soon. Anyways, keep your eyes open for that. If any of that interests you and you're new here, think about subscribing to the channel. I just rent out the land. Tell me something I don't know. Well, maybe you should talk to the ones who've been working your land. Who do you think told me what's been going on? You think I'm out there running in the fields like I got ants in my pants? I'll be speaking to my lawyers about this. You can understand that much, can't you? I came over here to meet the owner face to face. You know, talk it through man to man. Never did occur to me that I'd be dealing with some dumb broad instead. Oh, pull your head out of your ass. The bank owns this land. Best quit jerking me around, lady. Listen hard, you goddamn Oki. Let go of me, you asshole! If Phillips or someone else is paying you to pull this shit. If this is your own harebrained attempt at sabotage, Lord help me. I'll drag your ass through the muck myself if I have to, you hear me? Fuck off, pig! Uh, what's going on here? Howdy, Bill. You doing alright there, Miss Harris? Yeah. Mr. Morgan was just leaving. Mr. Morgan huffs and haws. Yeah, I'm going. But this ain't over. I'll be seeing you in court, Miss Harris. Whatever, you old fart. <laughs> She's the best! Your hand okay? I saw your cat out there on the road. Figured I'd come see if everything's okay. What was old Bill wanting? Wish I knew, Sheriff. Wish I knew. Morgan's grip was surprisingly strong for an old man and left a bruise. The sheriff made himself scarce before long. He came asking the same questions. But he had them written down in a notebook this time. It didn't reek of booze. Still, I don't think he suspects me. He seems more focused on Malter's past. He's an ornery one. That old donkey's... Uh, sorry, that old donkey? I'll say. Ought to learn to keep his hands to himself. Got any news on Walter Sheriff? Actually, yes. I was talking to New York and found out something, uh, rather strange. Oh, uh, Bill, let her murder the annoy- You guys would have voted to murder that guy, right? Right? Don't make me lose faith in you. <laughs> Tell me. You ever heard of an Irving Wallace? No. Doesn't ring any bells. Well, it sounds like Walter and Irving did time together. Walter did time? No way. Oh, he, maybe he changed his name? That's what I thought. But when? Why? In the early 20s, but I don't know why. There ain't much left from the pre-war archives. Walter obviously used this to his benefit and kept his little vacation a secret. This is more than just a secret. Don't get me wrong, ma'am. Everyone makes mistakes. As far as I can tell, Walter was a dignified man. Wish I could say the same about that Wallace character, though. Who is he? He made a killing during Prohibition. But his fortune wasn't big enough to attract unnecessary attention. Then he got his business legalized and went into publishing. Even bought a stake in a local newspaper. Ah, that's the paper that he worked for. You guys remember? That was his first job. Either way, he's bad news. 
But no charges have been brought against them yet. Strange thing is, well, my guess is Walter and Irving have stayed in touch to this day. I don't mean to scare you, man, but Wallace might be connected to your husband's disappearance. What's in the box, by the way? Um... Did it, it didn't have like an, an address on it, did it? Shit. I don't know if this matters. Maybe I'm thinking too much about this. Apostle from my brother in Oakland. Hmm. Thought it might be from Walter. Anyway, ma'am, I'll keep you informed. Let me know if anything happens in the meantime. Like, what, Sheriff? People like Wallace are extremely dangerous. So I'd like to ask you to stay vigilant till we figure this all out. If you take care now. Oh, don't you worry. I got lots of shovels around. What you been up to, Walt? I must admit, Morgan's visit came as something of a surprise. I had no idea what that old man wanted with me. Walter was the one who handled the land, not me. Any knowledge I might have had was extremely vague. I could probably figure it out if I really put my mind to it. But on the other hand, who the hell cares? I'll be long gone the minute I get that check. I'll never have to see this house, this land, or Morgan ever again. I wasn't sure what to do next. Leave it to chance or ask about the property boundaries? I guess we want to know about the property boundaries. Shadow of a doubt achievement. Okay, I think I'm going to wrap this up here. I assume I can just... Let me just see if I... Oh. Why? Yes. If I do continue... Is it, is it going to continue right there? Oh, no. Okay, next time I'll have to play through this. I'll try to make the same choices. Uh, for the next stream, I'll be, I'll be prepared. That kind of sucks. There wasn't like a save game or, or anything. Memories. Oh. Ruin nest. Nest. I guess this is stuff that we can find. Interesting. That's okay. What I can do is I what's kind of cool is I can go back and I can watch the VOD and just make sure that I make all the same choices again. And then the next time I stream this. We'll just be back to, to where we were when I start. Thank you guys for hanging out. Please do think about uh, subscribing if you enjoyed yourself here and you're not subscribed uh, yet. And becoming a member. Support what I do here. Because I sure do love doing this. And this is something I'd love to be able to do for a living. Uh, next stream is going to be... Mon... Uh, someday? Maybe I'll wait until uh, I get the PSVR 2. But, uh, or maybe I'll, sh maybe I'll continue this on Monday. I don't know. I don't have any, anything worked out yet to exactly when I'm going to stream. But I do have, uh, some series on YouTube that you can go and watch, uh, that, that are not streaming. We got Dead Space Re, uh, Remake that's going to be wrapping up and Metroid Prime Remaster. Both awesome games. Hope you guys enjoyed it. it sounds like you did. So maybe on Monday, I'll try to return to it, depending on how recording Atomic Heart works out. Or uh, even if I feel up to it, I might stream some some of this tomorrow. We'll see. Just keep uh, your eyes peeled to, to Twitter or Discord. I'll see you on the next one. This is uh, Luck and Luck signing off on Loretta. And I love you all. <laughs>